have the first stop, of course. Do you get this question a lot? Do you like Taco Bell tacos? Do you like, do you, like you guys' tacos better? I actually don't eat at Taco Bell. Ah, uh, fitness? Fitness burger in my mouth. Psh. Thanks, appreciate it. Destination number two. Are you all set? Appreciate it, man. Thank Have you. you. The closest thing I could find to Korean food. Like I always say, guys, it's the worst when you drive home with all this delicious food in your car. Because it all smells amazing. So amazing. Well, good thing I'm hungry. And you guys know we gotta keep it somewhat healthy, right? How nice of them to include a nice little placemat for me. What do you think, guys? Does it look like the picture? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit different, everybody. Um, you're seeing a lot of food in front of me, and uh, yeah, I got an idea to do my first ever mukbang. Yeah, I have no idea how you uh, pronounce that, but I, a lot of people say mukbang, a lot of people say mukbang, I don't, I don't even know. Uh, that's my American way of saying mukbang. Now, what you guys see in front of me is a lot of food. Now, this is gonna be the all-American mukbang. Now, uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, different uh, challenges over the years. I've never really uh, have seen mukbangs, so uh, up until recently at least. So it's been pretty interesting to me. I'm gonna kind of keep this uh, relaxed, low key. This isn't a food challenge, and I have a lot of food in front of me. I'm not gonna guarantee that I'm gonna eat all of this, but I'm definitely gonna try everything, and I have a lot of favorites here. I have a lot of stuff that I haven't tried before. Um, yeah, let's get to it, guys. Um, I'm really excited, I guess, to, to say to try all this out. Um, it's kind of a pain to get all of it, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I, I don't see a lot of American mukbangs. I see a lot of, uh, I mean, it originated in Korea, I guess, apparently. Um, what we have is uh, these donuts right here. These are, uh, gosh, what's the name of it? I can't remember. Whatever, it's escaping me. Um, then we have In-N-Out right here. You guys can't go wrong with In-N-Out. In-N-Out's delicious. Um, everybody in Southern California will know and understand that. A personal favorite of mine, we have Jack the Box tacos right here. No Taco Bell. And then we have some Panda Express. This was as close to uh, Korean food as possible uh, that I could get. I mean, guys, I live in San Diego, come on. <laughs> uh, Skippy peanut butter bites right here and then an old favorite of mine, salt vinegar lace. And I also have um, some ice cream as well, Ben and Jerry's in the freezer, because I didn't want it to melt. Now, uh, I posted a Q&A on my Snapchat and my Instagram, so if you guys haven't already, follow me there. Um, yeah, so essentially we have breakfast right here. I also freaking, I put these in the oven too. This is an also another all-time favorite of mine. Check that out, hash browns, you guys can't go wrong with those. And oh yeah, how can we forget our healthy salad right here, everybody? So, um, yeah. Oh yeah, last but not least. You guys know. Like I said, everybody, this isn't a food challenge. Ah! There we go, dropping shit. This isn't a food challenge by any means. Can't guarantee I'm gonna finish all of this, but I am pretty hungry. Did do some deadlifts today. So, and I wanted to kind of chat with you guys. Alrighty guys, so I got two cameras for this one. I'm gonna show you guys that aren't American how awesome this food is. Uh, granted, I've always loved um, non-American food too, but I can't really get it because, again, I live in the United States, so. Um, start with our salad, of course. This is an old 
favorite of mine, Southwest salad. Yeah, that's about enough of that. Let's try out one of these. Now, I have to admit, I've never been a fan of the chocolate donuts like this. Never been a fan of these, but um, yeah. I gotta say, I'm still not a fan. And speak of the devil, Look who just posts on Instagram. Her and uh, Brian Turner did a uh, mukbang, which I saw this morning, which admittedly inspired me to do this today. It was a little bit different in what's a vegan mukbang, though. This is a little bit, you know, different. Oh, I thought this was the like the crumble donuts. Damn it! Well, I got gypped. These powdered sugar ones were always good. They just would always stick to my mouth like crazy. Out of all these, powdered sugar is the best. So funny guys, like, trying to get all this prepared without it getting cold is the biggest task ever. It's seriously like the worst thing. <laughs> Like I guarantee those fries right now are just freezing. They're all soggy. Yeah, we'll save the other one for later. Now guys, I've always talked about how much I love Jack in the Box, and in particular, Jack in the Box tacos. So, you guys know I gotta do this. Just look at that grease though. Look at that grease. That's kind of what makes Jack in the Box tacos, to be honest. Kind of got gypped on the inside, but. Now these are the best from McDonald's. These are just store-bought, but damn, these are so good when they're at McDonald's. Never had this brand before. I've never had um, the, I think Jack in the Box makes them too. I'm not too sure. I think Jack in the Box actually makes tater tots. Team ketchup. Yes, that was a Brian Turner shout out right there. I saw them, um, doing the, the whole mukbang thing and I was like, that's really, really cool. Then I kind of did some more research into it and um, apparently mukbangs are like a huge thing in Korea. And they're big with like, usually just one person. Like they have like one, um, like channel dedicated to just eating a ton of food. And it's usually like, it looks like 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 ramen. I don't know, I hate ramen, so I wasn't gonna do that, but. These tacos got all gross. It's literally so greasy that it's like, it's turned into like a taco noodle. Kind of a downer. I'm getting gypped out tonight, guys. This sucks. Good thing these hash browns are loving up, though. But, yeah, anyways, uh. The one thing that really annoyed me though was like, cause I started watching a few of them. 
is how many times I don't I try not to do this at all during any of my videos but um, just eating in silence is fine but like when you smack your lips if I ever did that at the dinner table my parents would just oh they would not literally but tell me to shut it it's just I don't know it's just really annoying to me I'm like ugh. I don't know, maybe it's a culture thing. These hash browns are the best thing so far, I'm gonna say. I was also planning on doing some reviews um, of a few different things. Like, I honestly can't review the tacos too highly right now, I'm gonna be honest, but Like, seriously? Come on, man. It's like garbage. Um, q and A. I I did post something, like I said, on my Instagram, so. Oh yeah, these fries are all freaking cold. Not horribly cold, but. I mean, In N Out fries, guys, are by far some of the most amazing fries. Gripper. If you guys haven't had them before, you gotta come down to California and get some, seriously. Now, because I did do some deadlifts today, <laughs> gotta get our protein in somehow. Here we are, the infamous three by three from in and out Fitness? Fitness burger in my mouth. Their animal style sauce is what they're most famous for. But, um, while I'm eating this, um, from Instagram, we will see if we've got some questions to answer. Um, how long did it take your body to bounce back from your 50,000 calorie challenge? Um, with that, with most of these challenges, I should say most of those challenges, it doesn't take too, too long. Um, I don't know why I say too, too. It doesn't take too long. Just one of those things, guys. But, you really have to um, look at the macronutrient breakdown of the foods you take in during the, the actual challenge. If it's a lot of like fat, a lot of sodium, it's gonna take a little bit longer. It's a lot of carbs. You can really bounce back pretty quickly from them. Uh, if you could have a lifetime supply of one thing, what would it be and why? I'm gonna say, hmm, toilet paper. Seriously though. How much do you miss having Oreo O's readily available? Oh my gosh. Oreo O's, those who are not aware, I would say are arguably one of the best cereals of all time. They are dis- Are they? Are they? Dis- Discontinued was the word I was looking for. Brain's not working, guys. I can't do these fries anymore. They're just way too soggy and cold. Yeah. What we can do, our salt and vinegar lace. Whew. I 
they tear your mouth up so much, but they're so good. I wonder what it would be like to do a potato chip eating challenge. Sodium gains over 9,000. Did you cycle much when you were a teenager? I did. Um, I was riding my bike to school at the age of 16 when everybody was driving their BMWs. Felt a lot of pride in that. Uh, what do you think of Quest Bars? Just like a lot of those bars, I think that they're overpriced diet food for the most part. Um, they're not like I, I, I just think of the price when I look at those things. Um, it's not enough for me to like justify buying one. I mean, it's just Vita Fiber, I think it is, and it's, I don't know, it's not, I'd much rather eat whole food. I mean, considering I get like <laughs> that much fiber. I, get, I literally get like, I think we get like 70 to 80 grams of fiber a day. Yeah, I don't need Quest Bars. Um, have you ever competed in bike races or triathlons? If not, is that something that you're aiming towards? Love the videos. You're one of the least messy competitive eaters on YouTube. And that's part of the reason I enjoy watching you. Keep up the great attitude, by the way. Well, that's definitely a first. Usually according to the average YouTube troll. I'm like the biggest, I would say the messiest eater, but, okay. Um, yes, I've competed in bike races. Um, I don't know about triathlons though, just because I suck at swimming. So, Before this gets cold, we gotta have some Panda Express because what would this be without our Americanized Asian food, right? Oh wait, we have a portion cookie. That was a fail, I meant to open this before. What does it say? Fortunate for your generosity. Royally, 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 royally. Now, this is the honey walnut shrimp. I wanted to get orange chicken, but this is my first time ever trying honey nut. I almost said honey nut Cheerios. This is my first time ever trying the honey walnut shrimp from Panda Express. What do we think? Way too much breading on that. That's like 90% breading, 10% shrimp. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, we're getting our fruit in. There's a pineapple. I have no idea why there's a pineapple in here, but there's a pineapple in here. I mean, if I were to rate it, I'd give it, I'd probably give it six and a half out of 10, but 
I mean, that's pretty high. Um, because we have to, that was it, toy sauce. We have fried rice and chow mein. It's probably gonna be cold. Sucks doing these when they're cold, but. Oh, not bad. The fried rice from Pan Express was always good. I can remember going to Pan Express after high school every single freaking day, practically every day, and going home and playing World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, that was like my life. Anyways, back to questions. <clears throat> um, Endman009 says, TF the fuck is a mukbang. Google, bro. Next one's actually from Chelsea Lips, who says, um, how do you recommend building up to the work capacity to do a hill repeats? Currently dead after a half mile hill at the lowest gear possible. I don't even think I could do one repeat right now. So the best thing to do is to start gradually and work your way up from there. By that, I mean, find a hill that's not super steep, then work your way up to the steeper hills. And always make sure that you spin up the hills, don't find the hardest gear and mash, 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 that's not gonna build your power. That is a big ass onion. Actually, I think that's cabbage. Fail. All right. The next thing is gonna be, I think this is like honey chicken. No, I don't know what this is. Honey sesame chicken? No, wrong. Honey something chicken, I have no idea, but those of you who go to Panda Express more than I do will probably be flaming me right now in the comments for not knowing, but. Definitely honey something. That's a lot better than the shrimp. Put it that way. I'm honestly glad I didn't get orange chicken. Because after that freaking Lucky 7 challenge, I'm never wanting to eat orange chicken ever again. Do I have any bad habits? What are they? I would say a bad habit that I have is procrastination. Um, and then, I don't know not picking up after myself. I'm not like horrible, but I, like I'll leave my clothes on the floor sometimes, stuff like that. I would say a, a habit that I'm trying to break right now is cussing. Cussing is no bueno. Well guys, Pan Express. Only bad thing here is the chow mein. Chow mein's like super dry. Overall though, it's not bad. Because us Americans just like to douse everything in soy sauce. Use my code to join and get 2% off your first purchase. That was a solid Snapchat. Good job, God bless you, bro. Someone sent me a picture of Crave. It said, not that good. Yeah, I'm um, not the biggest fan of Crave. Granted, I do love cereal, but I'm just not Crave. I think I'm good on everything except the chow mein on that one. Um,
What else do we have? What else do we have? This one's from Michelin. Michelin? Oh! Will I ever be vegan? And she hopes my hand is okay. You guys are seeing this right now. I burnt the skin off my hand last night while making pizza for the live stream. Um, probably a horrible question to ask me when I'm doing this challenge. Specifically when I'm eating this, but. Um, the answer to that is right now, definitely no. I'm making a lot of uh, progress in the gym um, with my new diet lifestyle changes I've been making, so I'm going to keep it that way. Granted. I've always consumed um, dairy dairy products. Well, mainly, yeah, mainly dairy products and everything like that. Um, I'm, just, I'm not normally a, a meat eater, so apart from this, which is like the first time I've had meat in a while. I've started eating fish though regularly, so. Oh. Um. Probably gonna get a lot of flack for that, but. It is what it is. I'll get flack or something. How do you stay so fit? Why did you burn yourself? It looks so bad. My recommendation would be to check out the video I made and it'll be in the description of the video. What essentials do you carry with you every time you ride your bike? I'm looking at it right now. I carry my helmet, my sunglasses, and my garment. That's about all I need. Before I forget, I'm gonna go grab the ice cream. Eh, why the hell not? I got two more hash browns. This is so good. All right, what was I saying now? What is your favorite all-time ice cream flavor? Well, it could be peanut butter fudge core tonight, but I don't know. You have to stay tuned for that one. No, but really though, my all time favorite flavor, there's gotta be, I'd say pistachio, pistachio. As funny as that sounds, but I did like, um, which we call Boston Boston cream pie. That was really good. Have you upped your calories since eating more cereal, etc., or do you just spread it throughout the day and eat less at night? It's gonna sound pretty horrible, but cereal's kind of getting boring now. I mean, I just have been a cereal junkie for the longest time and it's like, I, I just don't care enough to eat cereal anymore. <laughs> it's just good, but it should literally taste all the same to me now. Oh no. And now, because I've always wanted to review these, these are the Skippy 
these are the Skippy peanut butter bites. I've always been curious about these. So, double peanut butter. Oh, five grams of protein per serving. Sold. Now they have like a pretzel one in the store too, which looked pretty good, but. Holy shit balls, these are amazing. Literally, holy peanut butter shit balls. Dear God. Wow. That is way too good. You guys can see, because I like showing you the inside look of pretty much all the food I eat. This wants to focus for me. You guys can check that out. That's what the inside looks like. That's a 10 out of 10 right there. These are absolutely amazing. If you guys like peanut butter, oh my god. Mine is blown right now. These literally should not be this good. Sorry. These remind me of in the movie theaters when you guys get, you can get like these cookie dough bites. It's exactly what these taste like, except peanut butter. Uh, favorite meal when you were a kid? Favorite meal now? Favorite meal when I was a kid was probably, uh, not probably, definitely fettuccine alfredo. So good. Funny enough, my favorite meal now is my typical broccoli, tofu. Well, not tofu anymore because I don't really eat it anymore, but um, I've been having um, like white fish lately. Shrimp is really good. Um, Roasted broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Um, and then jasmine rice is amazing. Pair that with a nice fish and you got a nice meal. Yeah, I know the salt is starting to get a little too much. After a while, it really does start to tear, tear out your mouth. If you were to go on a road trip across the country, where would you go and who would you take along? I would probably go to um, hmm, ooh, that's interesting. Uh, I'd probably go to, back to Chicago, that's where I'm from. Or I would go to, hmm, New York. I've kind of always wanted to go to New York. And of course I gotta charge my battery. And this is gonna be the chocolate 
the peanut butter fudge pour flavor. You can see right there. Let's give it a shot. Wow. It's always the best when you get a mix in right off the bat. Let's can see what it's like on the inside. Gotta love the fudge. I mean, definitely good. I mean, there's nothing really you can fault a peanut butter pint with or in. That's the right way to say it. Yeah, honestly, you can. Um, to clarify, though, I've always had multiple favorite fl flavors of ice cream. Pistachio, pistachio is one of them, but when it really all boils down to it, I would say. Fudge brownie was always a huge thing of mine, but of all time, really, definitely had to be a, uh, an ice cream called Gold Medal Ribbon, which is exclusively sold at Baskin Robbins. I don't know if they still sell it or not, but if you guys were ever, if you guys had like things you remember specifically as a kid, for me, that was one of them. How often do you lift per week? How often do you bike per week? What's your pre and post workout meals? Sorry, I know it's a three part question. <laughs> um, I don't have like a set routine on how much I lift per week. Uh, <laughs> I think that's silly to be honest. For the most part, for me at least. Um, you just have to stick to a program. So, mine has me doing uh, heavy pressing once per week. I've actually upped it to twice. And then deadlifts once per week and squats once per week. As long as I'm progressively overloading, it's all that matters to me. By the way guys, if I were to rate this, it would definitely be a, uh, that's gonna, I'd give it an eight. I mean, it's solid, but I feel like they, the fudge cookie core, or the fudge, not the fudge cookie core, the fudge peanut butter fudge core in this, it's too like, it's almost too thick. I do need some more milk though. Like these things. How did you overcome the fear to eat more after anorexia and fearing food? Um, it's really something that's going to be always, um, you know, an issue, or I mean, not always an issue, but always something that you think about. You ever have to deal with anorexia or restriction or any sort of eating disorder like that but um, the thing with anorexia it all revolves around an irrational fear of food and like two three years ago I never would imagine I'd be able to do something like this like it would have put me in a I don't know I mean it's it's really just something you have to work towards and don't expect to wake up tomorrow um, in that mindset. Just like I would say, don't expect to wake up tomorrow 
after this meal, don't expect to wake up 400 pounds. It just doesn't work that way. Your mind can be, um, can play huge mind games with you and that's pretty much what anorexia is. Here's a picture of a cat. And it says green grapes or red grapes. Uh, the answer to that is definitely going to be red grapes. Well guys, I am going to finish off the ice cream right here and say this has been uh, the mukbang, or my first mukbang. <laughs> it's actually pretty fun, I liked it. Uh, if you guys liked it, definitely let me know down below. I wanted to call this one the All-American Mukbang. Feel free to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and go ride a bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Oh.